Right, hello and welcome back. Um, today I'm just going to do a short video on replacing this edge cutter head. Um, I'll show you a picture of the back of the motor at the moment. Um, what happened is, as you can see there, I caught a piece of wire and it's, it's broken one of the teeth off. Not only that, these the cheap ones, um, they're not expensive ones and what what they have is one two three blade mounting points and what that causes is flex here and it causes flex back here what they want is another one in between and i was going to mill it out and and do it but um i'm in a bit a uh, bit of a dilemma i need to get on so i bought another head um and it's exactly the same so once i've got finished this year then um i will be drilling this out and we'll do a video of it but if I can just turn it so I'm just having to walk sorry about the Andel camera you'll see here and you get this flex and that causes these blades as you can see to have a gap between them the, what they want to be is tight like that so by putting another bolt in there the securing point makes them a lot better the, this this front part's not so bad but this back part's got bowed i'll just show you what make it is and then we'll start stripping as you can see there's a clutch here um i'm going to do a video on that as well i've i've got all the car in pieces and uh, the clutch that's a clutch out of it i'll show you what's wrong with it, but that'll be another video hopefully uh i'm going to start putting the car back together this weekend and um we'll show the old clutch the new clutch and we'll i'll try and show bits of it's putting it back together again and make a little bit of interest um this is the other half of the edge cutter. It's it's about a three meter cut. Um, it's one of the cheap Chinese ones. Saying that, it was bought for me for Christmas by my sons. It has several attachments, uh, edge cutter, strimmer, and uh, oh, a chainsaw for a long reach chainsaw. So that's it. I rebuilt the exhaust. Um, you can probably see some brazing in there. It all fell apart the other day, so I rebuilt that. Um, I should have done the video, but I didn't. So, without further ado, see if you can get mounted on a tripod. It's that one since I've done the video. I forgot how to make, use the camera. And see if I can just work with it in view. This is the, the new one we're going to fit. This is the one that sent me. It's a second hand one. Uh, it's a company that sells brand new ones. I'm not going to mention the name, but they had this and it had been used for an hour apparently, so probably a demonstrator or something. I don't know. Uh, it was £18. You can buy the complete head, the old lot, the gearbox, and everything for about 40 quid on eBay. Um, this was £18. I thought it's a good way to go. It looks in, you know, it looks an hour old, so um, we'll try and fit it. I've had these apart before. Um, there's nothing major to them whatsoever. In fact, just sit it in the vice gently. We can, uh, whoops. We'll do that with it. Once I get this case off in here, we can then remount it. I just want to make this really one video. Um, I don't want to be editing it and anything.
So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's one in the center. Seven. One thing we will check is to make sure what length they all are. Hopefully they'll all be the same length. Now, the one in the center is longer at the moment. size um, three millimeter so the Allen keys three mil they're all the same length bar in one so that's the plate off as you can see nothing really too special about that Should have cleared the bench really, but uh, there you go. Now that's a drive piece, as you can see, as this cog goes round, it oscillates because it's off centre, which jiggy jigs the blade up and down. It all looks well greased. Mm. We'll just take these two, there's these three um, eight mils to come out, one, two, and three. And uh, I should have got a little socket set out from behind me. Been a bit quicker, wouldn't it? That's a bracket, one of the mounting brackets, no, that's one of the mounting brackets. But there's a new one on the, uh, the new blade. And we don't want to damage that gasket if we can help it. Yuck. Oh, it's come out. All that is, is a bit of felt. 
as you can see, uh, it's just a, basically a sealant to keep the, gre uh, keep the grease in, that's all. This is how they've uh, sent the new blade, it's all in bits. As you can see. Take this guard off with this mounting bracket. Right, we should be able to put. I've got some new bolts, uh, the scent with it. Just uh, this, they just took it apart as you can see. They've got the washers and the uh, the little spacers on them there. Looks like someone's been a bit rough with that one, that one, and that one.
don't know why they've took all the bar apart really but hey ho
Oh dear. Longest one goes in the middle.
little spacer. You can see it goes in like that. We'll do the same one first and hold it all up. Obviously they don't want to be too tight. And this bolt is uh, the last one that goes through the bracket as well. It doesn't want to be rank tight, that, that's rock tight there, so I'll just back it off just very slightly. And then if we tighten that one, dear oh dear, something better mess with them. And then that will leave it to, to be slightly loose, only very slight, they want to be firm. So that's tight there. back it off just a touch and that's tight there back it off slightly As you can see, there is grease nipples, so you know you can grease all the gearbox. So it's it's quite good. All right, and that's all there is to it. And you get lathered in grease. What I was thinking of doing with this one is, um, as you can see the last one's broken off, it's probably just put it in the saw and cutting it off here. 
tear that inch off because what happens obviously everything gathers on that blade there when you're trying to cut um, because there's nothing cutting at it and it, it gathers it's not so bad when you're cutting from this side because it, it's cutting it but when you turn it around so I was thinking about just cutting it off there and it'll just be an inch shorter blade do as a spare won't it They're, uh, they're driven by splines, if you've not seen the side one before. Uh, they're just driven by a, a long shaft. If I can get it in the picture. And uh, they're just splined on the end. Right, I'll just start it up, put it on the, uh, on the saw. And uh, I'll start it up and uh, you'll be able to see it running. Right, we'll just check the blade for tightness. And uh, that will do. Now it's run a bit, I'll just tighten it completely up um, with the bottom rollers. So that, that's tight, we backed it off a little bit just to run it while it was um, first put on, just to make sure everything was okay. Now we can just tighten it to the rollers, those little spaces, sorry, you see between there. And uh, we're done. Yeah, that one does fit exceptionally good. I'll just uh, grab the camera and uh, and just show you. The other one, there was slight gaps between the. I can get the camera off the tripod. The other one, there was slight gaps. Whoops, where's my finger gone? Slight gaps between the blades. But you can see on this one, 
these fit much tighter. Um, it's like a pair of scissors really, and that's basically what it is. Is these want to be running, they want to be kissing each other, running on top of one another. So this one will try and not break, but it's a lot better. As you can see, they really want to be really tight, I like them really tight, but that's pretty good. Again, a little bit of movement, but that's pretty good compared to the other one. It's three year old, the other one, so it's obviously getting, getting worn out. But if If they had more bolts between here, so instead of one, two, three mounting points, had four and five, that would keep that tied together. So what I think I'll do is, I'll get this season finished off with this blade now, I've got quite a lot to do with it, and um, I'll get it finished off, and then what we'll do, we can have a practice on this one with the milling machine in case this metal's really hard, but it should be alright, carbide should fetch it out. And what we'll do, we'll cut some more We'll cut some more slots in it, the same as this. Uh, we'll measure, we'll measure from hole to hole. Cut some more slots in it and put another mounting bloat, bolt, two more mounting mounting bolts between. And we can say so we've got one now to practice on. So, and this is only cost eighteen pound. So uh, it's nothing really compared to what it does. But it's uh, quite a edges. Right, I think that's everything. That's the old thing. There's uh, one more extension to go in it. Uh, it's heavy with, you know, these the Chinese ones are heavy if you're thinking about buying one. They are heavy compared to a lot of the, uh, the British better makes, or the better makes, should I say. So do be aware they are heavy. Um, it has an harness that goes round me and it hooks on me, so it, it is carried by these mounts here on an hook, on an harness round my body, but it's still, it's a beefy, you know, it's an heavy bit of kit. When you get three on especially, it's, uh, it's a bit of a monster. So, um, probably I advise to buy the better quality ones, depending on what you've got to do. Right, okay, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and uh, we'll see you on the next one, which should be a clutch on a Vauxhall Astra 1900 CDTI. All right, catch you again, ciao.